Coach, what was the difference in the second half? What, what kind of adjustments did you make at, at halftime to really get things going there? Uh, I, I can't really say too many adjustments. The bottom line, what we did is we just talked about uh, a lot of penalties in the first half. Um, and, and we wanted to get our playmakers with the ball. If I was going to go down tonight, it was going to be them stopping Kendall Collins, Montrell Johnson. And this field's conditions is the worst I played in 21 years of coaching. And uh, so we were limited to just a little box to be able to run in with our offense. And, uh, and Kendall Collins and the offensive line and Montrell Johnson and the fullbacks. Uh, did it pretty well in the third quarter. Yeah, maybe it was ironic that the first play on offense, the second half, was a pass play right. uh, that Rojas threw, and then after that, we never saw him the rest yeah. of the night. You went to those two guys and really just tried to, really just tried to run it with the, uh, you know, with, with your two horses there. Uh, that, but your defense, I mean, you got three straight three and outs to start the second half there. Yeah, they got something going late in the game, and they 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 made it interesting, almost too interesting there, but. Uh, the effort of your defense there to come out there and really help you turn the tide in the third quarter. No doubt, you know they made their little adjustments at halftime. Talked about some details and uh, some fundamental stuff that they, they were doing a little that were doing uh, a little wrong. I think a little too amped up, a little too much worried about what cleats they're wearing, a little too much. But uh, this environment was awesome. Couldn't have been prouder of the defense. If the defense don't get them stops, we're not in position right there. Then at the end, hats off to them guys for being able to draw up some plays and be able to execute. Now, next Friday, the, the good news is you're practicing on, on Thanksgiving week, but you gotta, you get a rematch now from that state championship game a year ago uh, w with university. What, you, what's your thoughts you high, on that? You high won tonight? Yes, yes. That's amazing. <laughs> I didn't think they were going to win tonight. <laughs> um, we're going to enjoy this win. And De La Salle's back in the semifinals. Couldn't be more prouder. And, uh, you know, De La Salle's going to enjoy this win tonight. And then we're gonna get on uh, you hide it. You said now they, you said they won. Uh, we'll get on them tomorrow, and uh, we we'll have a game plan ready. And the Dillasau buses will show up in Baton Rouge on Friday night, and it's a successful year when you're practicing on Thanksgiving. And I can't wait to be with this football team on Thanksgiving morning. And uh, by that time, have a game plan for you hide.